If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at what is potentially the best cam I've used in recent memory. I can't think of another cam that I've picked up that I've gone, wow, that is incredible. Uh, the, the, the few games that I've played with him so far, without a chem style I might add, have been insane. And I'm going to go back in and play a few more now with a chem style and see if that makes any difference. Not that it needs to, because he's absolutely incredible. He can be obtained for about 80,000 coins. Some of you may have used him already, because he's been available as a loan pick. I am, of course, talking about Kints of Cologne. Now, feel free to click off the... Oh, you already have. Brilliant. So, those people have gone. The, the real people who want to know all about this card, we can sit here and we can have a look at this guy and have a look at the beauty that is Kints from Cologne. The guy is crazy good. And the stats on the paper may suggest otherwise, but trust me, from deep, this guy runs in and just scores just bangs him in. He is everywhere. He's fast. He's agile. He's got the dribbling ability. He scores goals for fun. As you can see, I've already played two games with him so far. I didn't really plan on making a video on him. In fact, I was trying to do a video on another player and he was so good. I put that video on the back burner and here we are with Kainz. Five star weak foot, four star skill moves, high medium work rates, five nine. He is a cam and that's where I've been playing him. Four one two and two in the cam role. Now, if we look at his Nope, that's Julian Brandt. If we look at his stats, it's like, ah, oh, that's good, that's not good. Oh, that's good, oh, that's terrible. You know, it's very up and down, you know, peaks and troughs, as they say, right? 92 acceleration, 83 sprint, sp sprint speed. That's the first one. It's like, oh, 92 acceleration, oh, it's sprint speed. The differential there is 9. It, that's not good. I hate it when that happens. Happens a lot with shapeshifters. Uh, the, the shooting. Oh, the finishing's quite good for a cam. The long shot's good. Shot power's not too bad. Attack positioning's not great. I wouldn't say terrible. It's, it's just not great. And then in the passing department. Oh, short passing. 88. That's brilliant. Oh, the vision 79. Do you know what I mean? It's very up and down. There's like there's one key stat that's fantastic and then another one that's just not very good at all. And it continues in the dribbling aspect as well because you've got... The best agility you can possibly get, 99. And I tell you what, he feels agile. He is immense when it comes to movement with a left stick. 93, balance, reactions are terrible. 90, ball control, 91, dribbling, that's brilliant. Composure's terrible. I'll get into that, though. The composure, that's a deceiving stat for me. Um, defensively, I mean, his awareness is actually very good, not that we need it. Great stamina at 90, strength is lacking. I mean, the card is very... Ah, oh, uh, ah, oh, uh, you know, but with a chem style, oh, well done, yeah, you know exactly what I want to do. We're going to give him a maestro. I'm wasting it, really, uh, because we're only going to get to play three games with a maestro. But I didn't really plan on doing a video because I looked at the stats. And I thought, well, he can't be good, surely. Wrong. Um, 94 shot power, now 99 long shots, 85 attack positioning, much more respectable. Only 84 vision. But uh, 98 short passing, so should be okay there. We're going to boost the reactions by 5. Not that we really need to, because we just don't. But hey, we will. Uh, up to 83. Ball control 95, dribbling 99. That turns him into a 92 rated cam, as opposed to the 86 rated cam he is without the chem style. So we, we get a massive boost there from that maestro. And it really is going to tell in game, because without that maestro chem style, honestly... He's insane. He he runs from deep. His sort of sort of late Freddie Jumberg style running from deep is uh, is fantastic. It just does not go unnoticed, and that's how he's managed to get five goals in two games. I, I'm sort of I play the ball forward with him. We do little one twos. He runs forward. He gets around the outside. For instance, runs through the middle. We sort of thread the ball through with like Hadji or something, or. We play the ball through from someone like Kimmich or Kainz. We get in behind and then I drag it back. And who's arriving on the edge of the penalty area? This man, the Austrian from deep. He is absolutely insane. But don't take my word for it. Let's dive into the gameplay. Here's Kainz on the ball then. He, uh, he feels very good. Very good indeed. Here's Joshua Kimmich. Ball back to Mbabu. Here's Mbabu forward to Kainz. Kimmich. Turns around, gives it back to Kainz. I didn't actually want to do that. Kainz through the middle. Good touch from him. Shot near post. What a save from Schmeichel. 
It's a good effort from Kainz to Max. It's going to have to come back into the middle here with Kainz. Brandt, little one-two with Botiers. He's in on goal. Can he slot it? Yes, no, he can't. Wow, how has he missed that? Ball straight forward for Mainz. Can he lay it off? He can to Botiers. Back in to Kainz with the outside of the right foot. And that's what you want. 33 minutes in. It hasn't been relentless pressure. Kainz has been instrumental through the middle, by the way. He's a very, very capable player. And I tell you what, that, that Botiers guy... He needs to come off because he has been absolutely dreadful. He got the assist there, but in front of goal, he's been terrible. Kimmich makes a good challenge. Ball comes into Rousselon. Back it comes. Up it goes to Kainz. Good turn from him. And again, he would have won a free kick there. Decides he doesn't want it. Goes forward with a heel to heel. Can he dink this into the middle? No, he can't. He's got very good ball control. And he's quite good at shielding as well from the front. So that was a, a nice bit of football. My fault maybe for not releasing it sooner. Rousselon back in to get it though. Is it Kainz through the middle? Good football from Kainz and he can't quite get his shot off. But again, he just bursts onto it. Nice agility to take it past the defender. Gets it into the path of Kimmich. Gives it to Kainz. Can he play it over the top for Haji, who's onside, I might add. Haji across the keeper. Good save from the keeper. Babu up toward Kainz. Nice agility from him. Correa back to Kainz. Back to Correa, burst of pace to get past the defender, goes for goal, good save from the keeper. Kainz and Correa playing well together, linking nicely. They've both got enough composure and uh, passing ability and all the rest of it to sort of just wait, lure the defender in and then play it. Can Mbabu wake up a little bit here? Can he play it back inside towards Kainz? Comes out to the wing, it's going to go out again. Awa to the overlapping Rousselon. Back into the middle. Look at Kainz through the middle. Shoots and it's straight at Schmeichel. But from back to front as quick as you like. There's Haji. And, and that's that's not uh, that's not just Mbabu. That's everyone working together. But it just made it so that he had no option. Great composure. And a good ball through from Kainz toward Haji. Who's going to play it back towards Kainz. Who finishes off uh, a very, very good move. From back to front, my opponent just threw everything forward. We defended very, very well, and Kainz was at the heart of the attack. It's going to come in toward Kimmich. Ball through to Kainz. Can he play a little 1-2 with Haji? Well, he's given it to him. I don't know whether he's going to get it back here. He will do, and he shoots, and he scored, and Kainz through the middle. I think that's my first shot of the game. And in fact, I think it's my first attack, and Kainz the one to get the goal. Very, uh, very, very good goal. Big fan of that. Kainz. Max into Botius. This is Kainz. I mean, Haji needs to get up, really. Back in toward it. Kainz. Oh, that's brilliant. And he's offside. Well, that's a shame. That is a shame. But, I mean, his reaction time to play the... He was offside, but the reactions he had to play the ball back across, I didn't think he had enough time. How offside... I mean, oh, it's, it's millimetres, really. It's about a yard. Inside to Brandt. Botius. Kainz. What a ball. And Haji can't quite get there, but that was a great pass. And Kainz is very, very quickly turning into one of my favourite players. He is absolutely incredible. Great interception from Mbabu. There's Brandt forward. Botius, I mean, the, the quicker I sub him off, the better, really. Haji. Brandt. Here's Haji again. Little, well, oh, back round to Kainz, who scored again. I mean, he just can't be stopped. This guy is incredible. Well, well, just let it go. Don't worry, Kainz gets it. Ball back inside. He's got it again here. And he goes for goal. And he's just got a hat-trick from midfield. I'm not quite sure if you could tell from the clips. Uh, but I, I like this guy a little bit. I think he's absolutely insane. Uh, he's such a good card. And for 80,000 coins, it's just an absolute bargain. I would not worry about the composure. And I wouldn't worry about the reactions. And to a certain degree, I wouldn't worry about the strength. Despite the fact that I put them down as weaknesses, I still wouldn't be concerned by them. Uh, this year, if your agility is high as well as the ball control, then the reactions don't seem to matter. Composure, for me personally, it doesn't do anything ever. It's one of the most pointless stats I think I've ever seen. Because there were so many instances where I'm, I'm playing with him, with or without a chem style. 
Not that the Kev Salah affects the composure, but still. But we've got pressure from the goalkeeper, from a defender, from four or five players around him, and he still gets the pass off quickly enough and accurately. It just doesn't make any sense. Composure, for me, doesn't, doesn't do anything. Strength was kind of irrelevant. He's very, very quick on the ball. His dribbling skills are insane. He can worm his way out of certain situations with left stick dribble. If anyone goes shoulder to shoulder with anyone these days, it's the defender or the taller player that wins anyway. So I don't think it really makes a difference if he's got 80, 90 strength. It, honestly, I don't think it uh, would really have done anything. He's just so, so good. And I think it comes down to having a five-star weak foot, having 99 agility with 90 ball control, and then being that good in front of goal. His positioning, though, don't let that fool you either. From His runs from midfield are insane, and he knows just when to arrive into the penalty area, and in front of goal, he's very capable. He's just a, a very good card all round, and I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to allow you to go and buy him or get the loan out that you've got not used yet and go try him, and then let me know what you think in the comments, because this card, despite certain stats, is insane. If you have enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit the like button. Let me know who you'd like to see a video on next in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.